Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm hitting you guys with a 20k coin game here. If you want to play, I'll probably upload my rules later today or tomorrow or sometime, uh, just explaining and whatnot. Uh, but this is a game against Radioactive Waste. That is his gamer tag, and his uh, team name was Fully Fan for Life. Uh, player to watch, Derek Johnson. I picked him back up for my middle linebacker. I needed a little bit better of a middle linebacker, so I picked him back up for, I think, 30k. So he's a good addition back to the team. He won the toss and deferred to the second half. Uh, if you look at our returners, uh, or at least this one, I didn't show the rest, uh, they were running all clunky and whatnot, so it was a little weird. But to start this game, my plan was to just run the ball uh, and kill some clock, but Laguerre Blunt on the opening play hits him with a step back and a nice 43-yard run. So I decided to, not, uh, to, to try to throw the ball instead of running it again because that was my plan to try to at least run it on first down but I come back with two straight passes get Gates off the play action for a 28 yard gain I come back out and go to my read option again and Sheldon Richardson barrels his way down to the 14 and I go to Sheldon Richardson again he has nice speed and great trucking so I'm, I'm he's a very good fullback if you want a good fullback to pick up I go screen play but it's not open so I'm just going to run outside and throw the ball away with Vic we come out again, and I'm throwing the ball, looking for Josh Gordon. Find him, but he kind of came back for the ball instead of going where I went. But Randy Moss is going to catch the ball as we enter the second quarter for the quick touchdown, the quickie Magoo. And Emmett's, or not Emmett Smith, Matt Forte is going to try to head to the outside, but he's going to be met by Chandler Jones. Derek Johnson almost gets the pick, and I think it would have been for six, but he comes up just a little bit short of being able to take that one. Matt Forte goes up the middle for two yards, and William Perry looking to bear down. Uh, on uh, Alex Smith and almost gets actually he does get there I thought that was when he uh, I thought he threw the screen but no William Perry gets there and he's going deep and troll roll uh, final addition new addition to the team gets the pick and heading the other way uh, about to get tackled so he's going to lateral it back to Charles Woodson and Woodson's going to break a tackle and he is going to be gone uh, lineman just a little too slow to bring him down but there is a roughing the passer. Uh, I dove with William Perry to tackle, and I think he kind of slid into the quarterback and uh, got the roughing the passer. But that was still a nasty uh, kick re or, uh, interception return for a touchdown. Uh, I thought he was going to cut it back right like he uh, had been doing, so that's why I dove with Perry. And he's going to try to run outside with Alex Smith and will not get it. Chandler Jones will stop him, but he will pick it up right here, throwing it uh, over the middle. He's going to do the play action, and he's going to roll out. Uh, nothing there, so he just throws the ball away. He comes out here looking at second and 10. He's going to do another play action and find his tight end over the middle. Took three of my guys to bring him down, and he's going to come out 12 seconds to go looking to at least uh, get into uh, a manageable field goal position. Alex Smith is going to run outside and get hit by Derek Johnson and get injured. Uh, he's going to go and kick. Go ahead and kick the field goal. It made me go Oh, it didn't make me, but it told me to go field goal blocked return. But it was only like a like a like a forty five yard field goal. But starting off the second half, he gets the ball and Forte runs it off left side. McCourty got lucky, kind of knocked him out of bounds, or that would have been a bigger play. He's gonna get another nice run up the middle with Matt Forte, and he's gonna hand it off again off right side. But this time Charles Woodson is there to stop him. Uh, wasn't gonna let him run three nice runs on me in a row, and we bring the heat. And uh, he's getting outside, and McCourty almost gets the interception. That would have been huge, but at least he didn't let the guy catch it. He knocked it away. He's going to find his tight end over the middle again. That's a play that was killing me. He killed me with it twice, but he's, I stop him, and he's going to have to go for the field goal. Uh, nails it, which is a good play because if I would have scored a touchdown, it would have been 14-3, and it would have been over. And LeGarrette Blunt gets it on the outside, and he's down the sideline, hits him with the Step back again for an extra 10 yards. Uh, Garrett Blunt having one heck of a day. And Sheldon Richardson's going to get the read option and go up the middle and get injured. Mike Tolbert inserted into the game. And he does what he has to. Josh Gordon with a nice block, but also hit Garrett Blunt, slowing him down a little bit. And we're going to find Antonio Gates, but he's going to come up and make a nice tackle for only a yard gained. Vic not having the, the greatest amount of yards passed, but uh, he's he's... Got a good completion percentage. Uh, I tried to put in my closer, Emmett Smith, but uh, didn't get the greatest run. So I subbed him back out, and we find Gates over in the middle. I did sub Tolbert in for Richardson uh, just to make sure Richardson didn't get hurt. 
I look for Gates over the middle, and it's almost picked. That would have been a huge interception for him. But Garrett Blunt, I'm going to hand it off, and he's going to hit him with the juke and get down to the four-yard line for third and goal. We're going to come out, and we're going to find Antonio Gates in the end zone, coming across the middle for the touchdown to put us up 13-6. I go for the, the two-point conversion, the fake field goal, to try to salt the game away, but that doesn't happen. Uh, I was I was clicking Y, and Rodgers just wouldn't throw it. He's going to get a nice run to start his uh, drive off. Derek Johnson chases him down and knocks him out of bounds. Uh, he's going to go read option, and Chandler Jones is just waiting there and takes him down. Uh, he's going to go play action, and he's going to throw it. He looks over the middle. The guy may have been open, but no, Ninkovich sacks him. And he's looking deep, looking deep, and this should have been picked. Cromarty in good position. Four guys had a chance at that interception, kind of. But they had bad animations, and he's going to step back. Fourth and 24, got to go for it. And Cam Chancellor is going to get the pick. And with 59 seconds left, the game is in essence over because I get into field goal range off of the interception. Uh, but I'm going to make sure I run the ball, uh, try to get a little bit closer in case I do get stopped. And LeGarrette Blunt's going to kill a little clock going up the middle. And now Blunt goes a uh, pitch outside and is going to hit him with a little juke move and get down to the four-yard line. Usually Emmett would come in there too, but I just decided to stick with Blunt. And I'm going to put the card up and he's going to buy it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, he did pull a Jerry Rice, so his bet was covered, which is kind of BS. But I'm happy for him. He's lucky, but I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.